Hi everyone, it's Linda from Linda's Ease in Arlington Heights, Illinois, and Debbie, Hi. who's behind the camera right now. Okay, <laughs> hi everyone. Um, today we are going to start with our recipe. I hope you enjoyed the couple that were sent to you already. The uh, one that we're doing today is a bread recipe. It's called Swedish Rye. It's from a uh, wonderful customer, Joanne Soderstrom Lightfoot and her husband. Uh, Joanne's grandmother actually uh, made this many years ago, and Joanne is... Um, just a really neat lady. So I thank you for the recipe. I and there'll be pictures you, posted. Yeah, yeah. They'll, they'll definitely uh -huh. be on there. So look for them. We have a lot of really good recipes coming. So I hope you're going to use them. We'll compile them together at, a, at some time. The second thing that we want to do today is show you a little bit about um, a new quilt. We said we do that every single one of our um, videos. New puzzle. And so and this, our puzzle is, of the day. this is Jim Holtz. Tim, and, Tim Holtz. Oh, Tim Holtz. Okay. <laughs> I knew it was one of those. <laughs> and he's got the electric elements and... Eclectic. Eclectic. Oh, I forget we'll get it. it right. <laughs> no problem. I got the quilt right, though. That's so cool. there's our quilt. Do you want to hold it, you want sure. to hold it up? For? Yeah, but I, I love it. It's really an easy quilt to do. It's something that might Whoops, look sorry. hard. Let me show. But um, can you see it? I know it's a different... Uh, this is where I think it's really cool is this pinwheel. Beautiful, yes. Yeah, really nice, and then you can see the circles. That this is all done free motion on the mm -hmm. back. Well, with rulers too. Yeah, mm -hmm. and then the um, binding is all hand done, so that was pretty easy. Mm -hmm. And then I love the the different things in here. This would be a wonderful quilt for a man. It or would. A, a teenage boy mm -hmm. or a college kid. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's really got the, the rules Or for in me. Here. Or for you, yeah. <laughs> Love the numbers. I mean, I just think mm -hmm. it's a wonderful one. And, okay. And uh, anyway, that's one of the quilts the, that I so, thought you would enjoy seeing. Okay. Now, the second thing that I have for you today is I want to show you what to do with fabric when you are ready to start your quilt. You know, you get it off the bolt and it's got all these oh, wrinkles all on the time. it. That's yeah. what's going to happen. So what are you going to do about that? Uh, you're going to press and it. I do not normally <laughs> um, pre-wash my fabrics for my quilting unless I'm going to do it for placemats or whatever. But this has got a lot of wrinkles in. I'm not going to do the whole one. But this is water that I could put on here. But what I have done, which I got from a tip from my friend Debbie in uh, Pennsylvania. Not me, another Debbie. <laughs> yeah, this is called... Mary Ellen's Best Press. Uh, it's a gallon, and I just put some of it in here. It's a much, much better way to buy it. It's much cheaper. Now, if I were to take the regular sprayer and spray it, I did one already, and the other one I did with this, but I'm going to show you. Maybe I'll show it on the big one, because you can see. See how, how nice that got? Just watch again. See how it's just a fine mm -hmm. mist? Mm -hmm. Whereas if I did the regular spray that you get, it globs onto there. So now watch when I go and put this on, this sprayer, it's just going to take it right off. It's going to take that wrinkle out right away. And you know I have my trusty little, let me doing the top part. Mat. Right? Mat. You're it's pressing mat underneath. Yeah. So again, mm -hmm. um, I had done two of them already. I don't think one our iron is hot enough. One without. Yeah. <laughs> so it just shows a little bit easier. It's getting warmed up. Sorry, guys. Yeah. Here you can <laughs> see. See how nice uh, mm -hmm. when I did the spray on that too. Watch again. I'm just going to spritz it. I wouldn't normally do it on the mat. I'll just oh. spray it like this. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then I'll go ahead and take it. And it will immediately take that nice press. In fact, it's going to give it a real, real nice solid press. See, look at this. has been pressed up here. This is not down here. So it's just a great way for you to really um, get those wrinkles out, especially the crease that's on the fold when you're doing a fabric. Mm -hmm. okay. What else now, do we have? Well, I have a couple <laughs> other little things that I thought were kind of fun. Many of you know that last year, or the, the early part of the year, I did a trip to India with a group of women. Um, we worked with women. Um, we went to the Barefoot College, and oh, we just did some wonderful things to uh, help these women, um, encourage them to get their craft and their trade in a little higher level. And we were able to bring these back from them. These are all handmade totes. Look at the uh, stitching on them. They're all um, done by hand in different tribes in different areas in Northern uh, India. I mean, look at the inside of some of these. They're just, they use all of their scraps and all these very old vintage quilts, which are just spectacular. Ooh, look at how they do this. Wow. And if you find one with a patch, you're lucky because that's really, look at these. There's a patch. Yeah, they got Multiple it. patches. 
Look at the inside. I mean, just really, really spectacular. Now, Mary's going to show you, because uh, we have tables all laid out. And what are you wearing, too? Quilts. Oh, this is my quilt. <laughs> Here, let me come in and zoom in on the yeah. stitching. That are gorgeous. Look at the little buttons. And then, of course, it's reversible. Oh, I have a little embroidery here. Oh. Because tomorrow's going to be... When would you not have embroidery on you? embroidery design. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I just want to encourage you that um, some of the things that we're going to do, and we're going to talk about this, is the... Uh, Hand embroidery. I mean, hand stitching. Not hand <laughs> embroidery. I would never for me. <laughs> me, I would, but not you. Okay. So the, um, of course, I do use my little needle threader when I do the binding. That's important, and you could do it for if you wanted to make this. But I have taken these quilts because I, we were on the trip with a woman who was a designer from out east, and she takes these quilts and cuts them up and makes either tote bags, and I was able to get some made already, but she also makes the most gorgeous jackets you've ever seen in your life. And, and I've seen a bunch of them. Oh, yeah, they're beautiful. Mary and Madeline are going to show them to you now. Those jackets, if you had to buy them, they, you would pay about $3,000 a piece for them. So oh. um, they're wonderful. And, yes, yeah, all right. So Mary and Madeline, right? So take we're gonna it take away. it all away, Mary. Okay. You show them these gorgeous, uh, there's a mannequin with a green one that happens to be mine, so don't anybody <laughs> want that. But I thought this would give you a little bit of a taste of something else that you can do with quilting. So enjoy. Okay, bye. Hi, it's Mary and Madeline, and today we've got something special for you. I want you to notice that next to Mary, she has a wonderful tote bag. This is made in India using a collection of antique quilts. Also next to Mary is this. This is so gorgeous. Oh my gosh, this is a wonderful jacket that was I'm made. I'm going to spin it on the mannequin, is oh, that okay? Please, give it a, give it a twirl. And you could see how beautiful this is. It was made using an antique quilt. And we're gonna show you some wonderful quilts we have here today. Mary, look at these beautiful quilts that Linda had brought back from India. I know, they are so Oh, they are gorgeous. And, sorry for interrupting. Each and every one of them is different. Look at this, I don't know how close you can focus, Madeline but each and every one of them have this hand quilting throughout the whole Look at the hand quilt. stitching all the time it took. It is absolutely amazing and what they've done. This one. Oh, hold that one up. Let everybody see how beautiful it is. Because the front and back are different. Okay. Gonna... So. okay. Look at this. Okay, turn it around. Look how spectacular and it's, it's that is. It's large enough for a, a, a quilt. It's large enough to wrap up on the couch. It's large enough to do to a do jacket a jacket. If you want to. We have one other one I want people to see. That beautiful orange one with the orange poppies. Oh, this one. You got to see that one. Oh, I could see some of our customers who love to be styling. All right, this is this the front. Is, oh, wow, wait till you see the back side. This is, this is the front how side. how big that is. And I'm <laughs> not, my You're arms not don't, tall enough. My arms don't, but now, Madeline, the back side, in case they're not overly fond, and I love flowers. Look at look that. At the back side. It's so different. So that could be the inside. It if could you, be the inside. And you could have a reversible. So look at these wonderful selections of quilts. This is something, that look at the bright, it, it just makes you smile with the bright sunshine colors. And everyone is it, They are unique. So and ladies and gentlemen, can call you, us. Can, we can give you here. information, more details. Look at the hand stitching. Look how stunning that is. And then there's all these totes, all the different. We are back. Mary's going to look at these wonderful totes. They were already made. So, you know, everybody is, is so conscious of wasting plastic bags. These are eco friendly. Eco friendly. That's perfect for going to the, the store or for a day oh, in the park with a picnic. And again, the stitching. The stitching is what makes them unique. They are just stunning. Call us, we could give you more details. 
Thank you. Uh, we were talking about the hand stitches on the tote bag and the quilts and even the jacket. And I happen to think of the baby lock Sashiko. It does that hand quilted stitch look. Mary, you forgot to thread the machine. I oh, don't see any thread. Oh no, Madeline, watch. Show them that there's no thread up here. What the heck? I never noticed that before. And then come around this way, maybe to my left. I don't know how close you can get so you can see how this works, but watch. It's coming up from the bottom. It's coming up from the bottom. It's a hook and latch system. And I can make my stitches farther apart, closer together. It gives me the hand quilted look and it only runs on a bobbin thread. It is one of the most unique machines that I've ever had the uh, opportunity to play with it. I really love it. So people will think you did hand stitching on that quilt. Correct, look And at that. it's our secret with it's you. It's our secret, it's only the bobbin thread. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. So call us at the store, 847-394-4596. We will answer the phone. Our headless babe there, she doesn't answer it really well. But we look forward to hearing from you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you.